Uh, my name is Hope Langner. I am from the Albany, New York area. I am a, a business and life coach and I also train coaches and um, work in businesses to bring the coach approach and I do a lot of coaching supervision. Working through the ICF is one good way because all the accredited schools are listed on the ICF website so I'd send them there and have them really look at the different approaches the different schools uh, take and the different emphasis they place on uh, things that might be important to the person. So it's important to, for them to know, you know, how do they like to learn? Do they like to learn in person? Do they like to learn on the phone, online? You know, there are lots of different ways. So I think that's the main thing. Coached a certain number of hours. You've had a certain number of hours of coach-specific training that has been approved by the ICF and that you've worked with your own coach and had uh, supervised coaching as well. I really like to coach people that are really excited about learning more about themselves and expanding who they are. So I coach a range of people from uh, business owners and managers in larger organizations to social activists to people that uh, just want to make changes in their own lives. Oh, huge. Coaching is not going to go back into your past and help you excavate things that you need to clean up in your life. Coaching is more about where you are now and where you're headed. There are some forms of therapy that are like that as well, but um, I think therapy is more about healing, where coaching is more about um, creating. One of the ways I know my clients find me is word of mouth, so one thing is to, you know, it, however they've heard of coaching, to talk to the people they've heard about it from and find out what do they uh, look for in a coach? What are they admiring uh, in the coaching they're getting? Or you know, what do they know about coaching? Another thing is to look at some of the different schools again. But if they've met anyone that's had any connection to the world of coaching, I think that's a really good way to do it, to, to get recommendations. The other thing is to think about what do they want from a coach? And then um, once they have some recommendations, to sample with a few coaches to get a feel for the range that's possible for them and to see who they feel best with, and it doesn't necessarily mean most comfortable, it might be most challenged by. It's really finding somebody that's a match for who they are and what they're after in their life. About three, because I think more than that it gets really confusing. Less than that you're looking at either or, so I think three gives you a little bit of a range and if nobody resonates then, you know, do another round of three. What's your philosophy of coaching or what do you love about coaching to get a sense of who this person is? Are you somebody who is, uh, tends to hold my feet to the fire? Are you a real action-oriented coach? Or are you somebody who's more oriented toward the experience of who I am? And a lot depends, again, on what the person is after in the coaching that they're seeking. I'm really good at helping people uh, get clearer about their own strengths and their own um, internal alignment. So I find often when people aren't as effective as they can be, it's because there's some part of them that's not aligned with what they're trying to do. I have huge intuition that I use um, in my coaching. I find it has really good impact for my clients. I'm very uh, incisive and precise about uh, where to point people, where they could be looking. Like if you think about a big block tower and there might be one that's a little bit out and the whole tower could come tumbling. So it's like looking for those places where it's a little bit out and then bringing it back in.